Shay May for another episode of Tea Red Time. We're doing basically another collective reading for us, but this time it's going to be for the month of July. So we're going to see what the spirits and divines have in store for us for next month. For our cards, we have the moon in reverse. Spirit messages says, let go. Moonology says, I'm one whim. Outcome is forecast full moon in libra and then love angels romance angel says call in your soulmate for next month for the month of july some of y'all have hidden motives hidden alternative something is hiding whether it's secrets it's basically saying that what lies in the darkness is going to come out and essentially it's kind of in a way saying allow it to come out, unleash that darkness, release it, let it go. Basically kind of even going to like our next card, it's basically let go and saying, once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. Trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit as we have only your best intentions at heart and will do everything in your power to protect you. What? darkness or what is hidden within you is now the time to let it go because it's basically telling you release it unleash it allow it to come out so that way you can make room for more to come in it's it's, it's almost in a way saying that you some of y'all have some shadow work you guys have to do and for those of you that don't know what shadow work is shadow work essentially is where we are unmasking ourselves from our ego. We are unmasking ourselves from this facade that we all have essentially grown up to put up, that we have grown up to present. Some of y'all have some shadows that is going to start to come out. And it's going to come out. And spirit is essentially is saying, release it, let it go and embrace it with the moonology card a win-win outcome is forecast it's basically saying once you release your shadow once you embrace your shadow once you allow it and let it go you're gonna have sustainable balance like justice is going to be served embrace this shadow embrace this darkness i got advice from a spiritual healer slash mentor of mine and she told me i may be bubbly cheery all that and the sack of fruit snacks but I can't be that all the time. Like I have to embrace my shadow. I literally have to like embrace like my demons and accept them for what they are and just welcome them and you know, release them, let them go and just bring that balance. Like you can't be all light and you can't be all dark is what it is. With this romance angel saying your soul, calling in your soulmate, it says your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations, and visualizations help you bring help bring you together. Once you start to embrace your shadow self and start to figure out ways to release it, but also balance it and embrace it, then literally it is going to come in and bring you guys together. Like it's going to bring that balance that is needed for you to hone and go through. Because the thing with shadow work in itself is like you're also healing. You're healing from a past energy you're healing from an ego a facade you're healing from so much so truly really it's it's healing that needs to be done and needs to be released and needs to be cleansed so that way like you can have that sustainable balance and this is not to say that once it's balanced it's going to stay like that forever you have to continue work on the balance shadow work does not just end once you are finally grounded and balanced now like i wouldn't recommend taking like strides now it's baby steps you have to take you gotta be cautious when you take those baby steps because like you know you are going to be dealing with some unresolved shit some hard shit and it's gonna be some shit where y'all may not realize y'all just repulsively repressed and that y'all need to actually start letting go. It is a process. It is a strenuous healing process. It's not easy. It's not easy and it does not come easy. I would say in a way, don't 
just focus on the end focus on what you need to fix what you need to heal what you need to release right then and there and then you will know within yourself when you made it to the end Alrighty, guys thank you guys again so much thank you adolescent again for having me i'll see you guys next time on tarot tea time bye